all right, first of all, guys, this is what I was talking about from Machine CAD 2. Next try. I want to go over it. I'm going to do this in fourth hour two, okay? And I'm looking for feedback from you guys. I realize about half of you are in Machine CAD 2. Some of you are not, okay? Thing is, you all have had the same classes that everybody going into Machine CAD 2 has had. So you have all the experience up to this point that they're going to have. Okay. By the way, Machine CAD 2, how many are in that right now? Eight. Okay. You guys are eight of the 21. Probably have about the same in my next hour. Okay. Obviously, you guys see that we're filming. There's a few things going on. We all, you guys all know we had in-service, was that last week? We had an in-service day. Okay. Um, the district had a speaker come in. They've had multiple, many times they get speakers coming in. Um, this is Kevin Honeycutt. He's the guy that came in. He was a speaker. And he talked to everybody in the district for about two hours in the morning. Very entertaining speaker. Uh, yeah, you were there. Great speaker. Gr you came out of that meeting motivated. You were pumped up. You were going to kick education down the teeth of students. You're good to go, baby. Yeah. Well, and we are going to probably, in that class, we'll probably watch a couple of the videos because they are pretty cool. But one of the breakout sessions, after that 10 o'clock, we did breakout sessions. One of them I did was called Edmodo, which besides knowing it's called Edmodo and you use videos for it, I'm terrible with it. I might be a tech ed teacher. I know CAD really well. And I know that stuff, but the other technologies. And you can run a tabletop. I can effectively. Um, wow. <laughs> stubby down the hallway here. Not so much. <laughs> that was perfect. What he did with some projects is he came up with the corporate model. And I know I've talked to you guys already about this, correct? Briefly, I have talked to some, okay, I know you guys have heard me, or overheard me talking about it. Right now, I'm going to, obviously, we're going to go through it. I do want feedback from you guys, Blaze, constructive feedback. <laughs> um, but with this in-service, there's a number of things going on. You guys are probably going to be seeing more and more lessons that are done on video. Thus, we're doing a video right now. And the theory behind these lessons that teachers are going to be doing on video is you record the lesson and then you make it available to the students. So if you want to go back to how something was done, you are at home, you grab your tablet or communist iPad and you pull up the video and you, you are in class in theory, but you can go to the video and see it again. You can re -get that, you can get that information you don't have to go before school to get that information, things like that. So it's available to you, okay? I'm sort of doing that right now with the video here. I am gonna do this exact same lecture minus Stubby coming in next hour. I'm probably doing this in front of administrators, so please give me good feedback so I'm better for it for next hour. Perry's gonna splice the whole thing together as a TV show, by the way. We are going to make a YouTube reality show in Machine CAD 2 on this project. I'm out. It's, can I yell at him? <laughs> this is not where you're like the bachelor where we're dating and stuff like that. I'm not, yeah, I mean, but we're going to have some involvement and I'm going to, we're going to get into this down the road here. Okay. So anyhow, it is called the corporate, um, Construct apparently. Next, move down, Megan. The number of these slides, some of them. <laughs> um, some of the things about some of these slides, we're going to kind of go over. It's more for the teachers, but. Machine CAD 2, you guys have already done a hand, cool hands-on project. I want to do the RC car. I've talked to you guys about the RC car. We are going to be doing this through the corporate model. The thing is, when you're an engineer, when you're a firefighter, when you're a teacher, when you're anything, 
you probably do about 50% of your job is what you got an education for. The other 50%, sometimes more, of your job is what you learn goes into that job. So engineers, as much as you think they are at a computer designing all day, there's a million other things going on. You guys look at a teacher, you think, okay, a teacher is supposed to teach this lesson in math, this lesson in math, and this lesson in math. That's not all that's involved as a teacher or a principal. Any job out there, it always has many, many, many different layers on it, such as fire prevention and stuff like that. Um, but there's also the financials. And that's something, some of you guys probably have a pretty good concept of financials because maybe you do work. Maybe you do pay for some of your own stuff. For the most part, I could be wrong, none of you 100% support yourselves right now. You're not paying your mortgage, your rent, for everything of food that goes into your body, for your clothes, all that. So you guys are in a position, I wish I was, because I do have to do all that. But in a business, you have all these financial things too, and we're gonna put that into our corporation. So understanding financial responsibility is gonna be part of this. Keep going, Megan. Um, this is sort of, and you're gonna see this slide a few times. We are, and it's actually somewhat set up like our room. We are, as I said, we're gonna have corporations. I believe right now I'm up to 21 in that class. It was at 16, so, and I know a number, some people in here, maybe my fourth hour, switched back in, switched into it. We're gonna be at more. In theory, I'm gonna have five corporations. We are gonna geographically locate you guys into your sections, because you're working as a team on the project. Um, and this is just kind of the classroom idea. There's team, 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 team. And there's me and Blaze is in there, so there's a med center. <laughs> um, we are going to be going through, yes, you guys are a corporation, but we are going to look at this. You're going to have expenses. Next one. I don't remember all of this. This is just examples. Next. Keep going until you get everything on there. You may have to go back. Okay, what? we're going to pause right there. Um, your corporation, and for right now, Nate, I'm going to use you. You're the CEO of corporation, just because I'm gonna, it's easy, you're Ford. You're the CEO of Ford, congratulations. You got a great paycheck, by the way, I'm sure. Um, your corporation does have expenses. You have five people in your corporation right now. That means you guys need how many computers? Very good, Blaze. Five computers. You need the AutoCAD software, five computers. That software that we have on these computers for just AutoCAD, what is it about? Do you, anybody know? It's free if you're a student. It's about 6000 for a corporation. These computers, yes, they're not the newest in the world. We're gonna, I'm going to put a price tag at 700 a computer. So five computers at 7000 each is $35,000. Uh, another $3,500, you're at $38,000 thousand dollars right now for your corporation that's just to have computers that's to have software we have other expenses you need desks you guys are buying these desks for your corporation okay um, chairs stuff like that visits to anywhere corporations send people off to certain places okay my sister I've talked about her she's a package engineer she flies all over the place I believe she's on her way to Puerto Rico right now she was over in Italy a week ago. I don't even have a clue where she's at half the time. Um, next one, Megan. This is how things get expensive. You guys as a corporation are gonna be given X amount of dollars to develop your product. Your product's a remote control car. Part of the reason that I'm using a remote control car is it's a great 3D solid modeling and that's what we're doing in CAD. But we're also in an automotive area state-wise. But traveling. If you need to go to the hardware store to get nuts and bolts, we are going to count that as a trip to a supplier. So you are going to look up where potentially Rockford, Michigan traveling to, where's the GM headquarters? Pontiac? I know it's a big thing if you go down 75. But we got to travel over to there. If you're traveling by vehicle, you're going to, maybe it's $100. If you're in Bismarck, you got to go orbits it for a flight from Denver to Dallas. 
you're looking at $518. Okay, that's an expense. You guys are going to have expenses for your corporation. As I said, I'm giving you X amount of dollars, still being determined how many dollars I'm going to give you guys. Okay? So financially, think about it. What did we just come up with? About 38000 just to get your company started? I haven't charged you rent yet for your space. You, haven't, you guys haven't paid for any electricity to be operating. You haven't paid an employee yet. That's all coming too. Next one, Megan. Speaking of employees, five corporations, five CEOs. So I'm going to have five CEOs. You need to hire employees. I mess around with this, but you can go online and you can make a job application. So those five, right now, of the 21, that leaves 16 other people in the class. You're going to apply for five different corporations. You're trying to get a job. Now, obviously, we're in high school, <laughs> but here, I'm going to have the CEO, they're going to put down what classes you've had, what experiences have you had. I have a couple people in, that are going into Machine CAD 2 that haven't had Machine CAD 1. They're not going to be as experienced in Machine CAD. How many of you have had energy and transportation? Keep those hands up. Do you think those people are people you're going to want? Because they've already made an RC car. They're people I'd look for. So when Jake fills out an application, obviously we're going to go through all this. We'll not do social security number for obvious reasons. But Jake's going to fill out his application. And my CEOs are going to have 16 applications handed to him. He's going to do a job interview. I'm going to have a timer set, minute and a half job interview. You better impress the CEO. Because you know what? The CEOs are going to put blind bids on all the employees. I'm going to give you, for instance, $100 an hour to pay your employees. If Jake is really impressive, I'm going to bid $70 an hour for Jake so I don't get any other CEOs to get them. But you know what? I only have $30 left over now for four other employees. Three other employees, because you have yourself. <laughs> Obviously, this is very fictitious. <laughs> this is imaginary world. Nice Capturing hearts. And nice shorts. It's only 10 degrees out. Um, so on this application, as a CEO, I want to know energy and trans is a big one. Obviously, everybody in that class has had CAD. I know that for a fact. I already checked the background. I had to get a couple people out of there because they hadn't had CAD yet. They've had at least CAD. Most have had CAD 1. Okay? As I said, most have had CAD 1 this trimester, between this hour and next hour. Some have had CAD 1 last year. Okay? Um, some have just had CAD. And I've t those people that have just had CAD, I think they're going to be okay. okay? Um, anyhow, so the classes, that's big. Um, other things as a CEO I'm looking for, what hobbies do you have? What trades do you have? That's all got to go into your resume. For instance, did you ever have a remote control car? And I'm not talking a Meyer $20 remote control car. I'm talking hobby grade remote control car. Okay. Has anybody in here? Okay. Those are, strong, those are strong assets. I would probably put that as a, pri as a priority. Those are people I'm looking for. If you've had, and I'm going to have my son's remote control car in here for you guys to look at the parts, how it works. But if you've seen these cars, I had them in here last year, you have no idea how fast they are. If I re-gear mine, my sons will go over 60 miles an hour. Right now at 40 miles an hour, it's ridiculously fast. Okay, so anyhow, we're not looking, we could hit those speeds, I don't see it, but the experience, the mechanical aspect of having that. Now, we other, any other people, who's a car, do we have a car nut? Car nut. I'll tell you right now, somebody that's worked on cars and has problem solved a lot of mechanical issues, Blaze, you're going to have, that's great assets. You've seen what I drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like if you drive a Jeep, you know that they definitely can fix stuff. Um, so these, everybody's doing a, an application for your job. Okay? Everybody's going to be an engineer. That CEO, because they're a CEO, doesn't mean they're not going to be drawing and designing with the car. And that's a whole subcategory, by the way. 
everybody's going to have parts of the car, which I'll talk about later. Next one, Megan. All right, so as a company, the CEO, we are going to have a spreadsheet and we're going to have expense reports due every single Friday. One of those members on the team is an accountant. The accountant's going to be keeping track of things. What was your payroll for the week? We want, that's going to be there. Other things, your rent for your corporation, that goes into there. Um, anything such as travel expenses. If you have to go to the hardware store to get a nut and a bolt, I'm charging you to, for a trip to the other side of the state, it's going to cost you $400. Okay? Some of our stuff is going to be unavoidable. Some of this stuff you're going to have to suck it up and take a hit financially. Now, some of the things, if you look here, my time. That's my time. I'm going to talk to you guys as a group in this setting. I'm going to give you the information that I'm going to give you. I may pull everybody over that's on wheels. I may pull everybody over that's on motors. I might pull everybody over that's on gearing, stuff like that. That information I give to you guys is free. But Quinn cannot figure out how to design something to attach the rim to the car, and he needs my help. It's a consulting fee. Okay? How much that consulting fee is, I don't know. In the real world, this happens all the time. There's paid consultants that come in. That's what Mr. Honeycutt is. He's a paid consultant. He comes in, he speaks to people, he's a paid consultant. Engineering happens all the time. So that can be an expense. Now, just for me to go over and do something really brief, I probably am not going to spend all the time on that. But should I have to come over and give you that help? The reason I'm doing this, so often in education, you guys have been spoon-fed. We have been taking Jake here. We've been giving him nice little spoonfuls of education. And anytime Jake had a little question, we come over. Jake hasn't had the opportunity to, you know what? I have the knowledge. I want to figure it out. You, on the job, you got to figure things out. That's what, how the real world is. When you're on your own at home, you got to figure it out. You need to use the resources available to you. What are those resources? You've got your corporation. And to be honest with you guys, you guys already do a phenomenal job of this. Okay? What have we done in here? I mean, a lot of people have helped each other out. It comes to printing, stuff like that. So, I mean, that's fine. Use your corporation. Now, should Nate's corporation seek Jake? Maybe they make an agreement. Hey, we'll pay you $500 for a consultant fee if somebody's already done that. Now, as we're designing our remote control car, if Jake's Corporation, their rims don't work, we are in trouble. Jake's Corporation can spend X amount of dollars to get Nate's design for the rims. You can buy a part. It's going to cost you. It's going to hit your budget. You can modify it after, but you can pay them for it. This is done in automotive industry all the time. Okay? We have vehicles out there that are different vehicles in theory. They are identical vehicles. This happened in the 80s a ton. In the 90s, a lot. It happens right now. What is a vehicle that's identical to another vehicle, Blaze? Just different name tags. You know of any? Roadrunner and Dodge Super B. There you go. Those are older, though. I'm just modern. Sierra and the Chevy Silverado. Identical vehicles, different badges, have different names on them. A lot of the parts on your vehicles for like GM are all identical, except they have different things with it. I had a, my, one of my first cars, I had a 1990 Mitsubishi Eclipse. I'm sorry. They still make the Eclipse. You guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's a little sporty car, two door. There is a Eagle Talent. Has anybody heard of one of those? The Eagle Talent's identical to the Mitsubishi Eclipse, except for the name tags. There was also the Plymouth Laser. They were identical, except for there was a different motor. Plymouth made their own motor for it, which didn't work so well, by the way. But if I went to a scrapyard, I wanted a door, I could get a laser door. I could get a talent door. I don't, hopefully you don't have to go to the scrapyard for a door, but point being, boom, they're the exact same things. Okay. Daily, essentially, 
Whether you want to or not, you may have see your corporate meetings. Okay, that's something that may happen daily, or we get in and just get to work. Half, this is gonna be fourth hour. If you guys are down here at lunch, that's fine too. By the way, with wages and stuff on your application, I would wanna know if, you guys, if you're willing to work overtime for me. What is overtime? Well, I know that. But if we're on a project, I need overtime. Are you gonna be in here at lunch? If we gotta get a project done, I wanna know if you're willing to come down here at lunch. Half of you are down here anyhow. It doesn't count when you're playing euchre down here, though. After school, before school, should it be needed? What about Netflix? Yeah, probably not either. Next one. We're going to be naming these corporations. Uh, I'll let you guys come up with your own names, assuming they're school appropriate. Sure. <laughs> and we're, they cannot have like belittling of anybody. That would never happen, right, Blaze? What? We're going to fill each other's buckets. Um, this was an example he did in his class. They made cars. really ugly cars. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's definitely more aerodynamic than my Jeep, but yet yeah. it, it needs a nose job, I think. Anyhow, uh, next, Megan. Here was another one that they did. Um, and they, they took this guy and they made a plaque from it or something, but deadlines. Deadlines are something that you have in the real world. I'm going to be giving you guys multiple deadlines. Now, does it mean it's a finished product? No, but I'm going to tell you maybe after at week one, we get our team, our corporations established. I'm going to say, I want by Tuesday next week, your first draft of what your rims look like. I want my first draft of steering servos. I want first draft of gears. It doesn't have to be a finished product, but it's due then. If it's not in, Typically, you guys are worried about your grade. I'm going to hit you financially. Ten grand a day. So we have deadlines. Um, we are going to have both 3D printed stuff. I'm going to tell you right now, we're probably not going to make the body or the frame for it out of plastic because I have a feeling it's going to change so many times that we're going to use at least the starting uh, framework. It's probably going to be quarter inch plywood because it's real usable. You know, if Charlotte's working on a steering system, we got to mount that to the car. If we've got you doing the motor mounting system, we've got you on suspension, we've got you on body, all this stuff is going to have to be very redesignable to make it work. Because I'll guarantee virtually everything on this car, your first design is not going to be the end product. We are going to have to adjust and fix and stuff like that. So the body I'm probably going to do out of, uh, We'll probably do on um, plywood. We could print it down the road. Um, some of the other parts, obviously we can't print everything. But like the other day, I talked to you guys. I said, I want you guys to bring in any spare nuts, bolts, things like that. That's going to be considered free material for your corporation. You don't have to pay for it. But if you don't have the right thing for your corporation here, and you have to go to the hardware store, that's a trip. There's 500 bucks. Uh, by the way, grading on that, I'm still determining. It is going to be partial participation. It's going to be partial how your group does financially. So if you guys, your standard expenses for the week is $5,000, but you spent 20000 that week because you needed three consultants, you had to buy a part from somebody, that's going to be reflected in your grade. Okay? Now, do I expect you guys to spend that money when you need it? Yes. Am I going to mark you down because you did a consult one consulting or two? Probably, I don't know. We'll see. In the whole financials, I have a whole new world worked up that Perry and I, Perry actually helped me come up with. But next one. This is a prototype. You guys are making a prototype for a remote control car that can be sold on the market. Okay, so we are going to, uh, next one. This actually was um, a book put together by an elementary. They actually put it together, they actually produced it. It's on Amazon. And there's money going to the school. This, something about this slide, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure what the PLN is, I don't, I don't recall that part of the presentation. This is a competition. 
We have corporates, you guys are corporations facing other corporations. We are going to be, what? We are going to be going against each other. Your end product is one way that I hope we compete. I am shooting for the goal to have five or four, depending on the corporations, remote control cars, 100% designed and built by you guys. We're gonna race them, okay? Whether it's out here, um, potentially I might talk to, we, there's an indoor RC track well, in Grand Rapids I bring my kids to. We might go to that on a Saturday and maybe we'll race them there. It's a cool place. Will there be uh, they have jumps. I'll bring my kids cars too so you can see what, I mean, the real cars, the real cars these things are ridiculous. Yeah. Anyhow, um, now one thing this does remind me of, how many people have watched Shark Tank? Okay. One of the things they always bring up in Shark Tank is you have a product, you don't have a company. We, originally, I was looking to make a product in here. I want to make a real corp, I want to make this like a corporation. So there's a lot of things that go into an actual business, okay? And we're going to develop those sides of it, okay? Next one. This is another side of it, and this is the side I got to work through with our administrators. But what I want to do is actually have a social media plan for you guys. You guys have your corporations. You're a member of a corporation. I've talked with Ms. Krebs. She does graphic design. You guys, in my fourth hour, she has fourth hour too. She has about eight kids that have had graphic design that are kind of independent study down there. Those eight kids are gonna interview for five positions on our team. You guys are gonna interview them. They are gonna come up with your corporate logo. Corporate logo is one of the most important things in the world. You can put junk on a plate, and if you have a national corporate logo, you can make a lot of money. That's why McDonald's exists. <laughs> Probably the most recognized corporate logo there is. And I, not to mock McDonald's, quality of the food in the food industry. Are they up here? Yeah. Or are they... I don't even know if it tastes good anymore. <laughs> it all tastes the same. And I, I'm not trying to put McDonald's down, but I think you guys get the concept I'm talking about. The thing is, you're going to hire that person. We are going to have on your team, we have a CEO. We're going to have a secretary, which is going to be kind of somebody that organizes things. They are going to be our daily planner. Because one thing is, when you have corporate meetings, things like that, Corporate meetings and stuff, we are not going to have five corporate meetings going on at the same time. They have to be at different times. Why? I told you, I want to film this. Okay? Perry's going to be a member of the group, but he's also going to be, in theory, he's going to be on the team with one extra person because he's going to be spending time filming. I'm hoping we have another person in there that's had TV studio that can help with this. We'll see. Um, but... We're going to have a social media expert on your team. They're also an engineer. That's going to be the main person that hires one of Krebs' kids. Okay? They're, we are going to put together a social media thing. We're going to make a Facebook page for it. I want to do. Now, this is what i got to get approved. My idea for this, yes, we, I want to do this YouTube-type reality series. That's going to lead people to go to Ford Corporation Facebook site. Every person that you get to subscribe to your Facebook site is $100. You're going to make money. And that's where you're going to start making money. That's where we're going to get our, perspe our perspective sales. You're going to make, if we make these videos, in theory, and I'm working this out in my head, we're going to have some basic videos. Like, this is going to become my first video in the reality show. But... The first episode of Ford Corporation, they have their own episode. They have their own episode. Every view is $100 that somebody watches your video. So now, because I can't say how many products did you sell, the thing is, if you get people interested in your product, that counts to me as a sale. Okay? We don't have a product yet. We're making that product. 
So what I'm thinking is, each time you get somebody into this, you're going to be making money for your corporation. Because by the end of this project, we are going to take that $500,000 I gave you to develop it, you spent $400,000 actually developing it, or you spent $600,000 developing it. We have our end product. But you earned X amount of dollars. How many of this product do we have to sell to A break even and then make a profit? When it comes time to sell something, we're not actually obviously selling these, we can't mass produce them, but we have a audience. You have people interested. Now, and I'll be honest with you guys, this is a little bit greedy of me, but this is gonna get the word out to the Rockford community, what we do down here. Nobody knows what we do, do down here. How many of you signed up for CAD originally had a clue what you did in that class? About half of you knew what we actually did. The other half of you that took CAD, you just signed up for a class, correct? Yeah. You didn't know what you were getting into. Yeah. You You're pretty interested in it now though, right? How many people are interested in a career because of one of the classes you took in here? Okay. Now I talked about this second hour. Second hour is my special ed class. Perry's in there. You are <laughs> funny without even trying. He is a helper. I have regular ed students and I have him? special ed students. In that class, I've got 12 regular ed students. I've got 20 special ed students. In that class, Andrew Halliday, he never would have gone into tool and die. He start, he's graduating early. He's going next week. He's starting. He's in a real career because he took one of these classes. I asked him this morning, would you be going into this career if you did not come down here and take a class? Because I never would have had a clue to go into this. Ryan Carley, was he in this class or fourth hour? Fourth hour. Okay. Ryan Carley right now is working for Aftech. They are paying him $12 an hour. They're going to pay for his college. He's a very hands-on type of kid. He's done a fantastic job in here. He had machine CAD too. He made a locking mechanism for a door. Phenomenal. It's done other jobs down here. We got him in with Aftech. He's doing co-op right now. He has a career he's getting his college paid for. Today after school at 2.30, I'm going over to Aftech. I am going to meet with uh, Frank Hall over there, who is the, he's not the CEO, he's the operations manager for uh, the Rockford plant and Walker. Very, he's a very high up guy, multi-million dollar company. I'm meeting with him. I want to get more of you guys in with his company. His goal is to hire Rockford kids. He said, you know what? You've already sent me one. We want to work with this one, Ian Ryan. And he's doing an incredible job there. I can tell you stories. I don't have time for it because I've already talked a lot. By the way, what time is this class done? Okay. Um, so anyhow, he would love to fill his company up with Rockford kids. They're dedicated to this. They were in here, as I said earlier, they talked to 300 students, maybe plus, about careers in technology and manufacturing. So I'm gonna further develop that relationship. I'm hoping, and I already know one of their engineers is, by the way, he's gonna be a free consultant that's gonna make free trips in here to talk with you guys. Once we get into the project, he is an engineer. He is gonna look, maybe he'll come in one day, He's going to look at the gearing and motor mounts for each one of you guys. So that will involve one or two people per corporate corporation. I'm going to have somebody else, another expert engineer, come in. I've got John Miner that's going to come in. He's going to give you guys advice as an engineer. Okay? Some of them, maybe we'll, I think those are going to be freebies because I'm bringing them in for everybody. Okay? I don't know. We'll see. But anyhow, as I said, there's a social media um, aspect. All companies use, use them now. It's ridiculous how much they use them because everybody that has an email knows they get so much thinking junk mail. Emails are free. For the most part, social media is free. Now, we all, especially in recent events, know that there's some issues with social media and that's stuff we got to look at there too. I want to be concerned with it. I want to obviously keep it safe. But I don't think because 
social media has been used negative, it can be used positive. And it can be used positive really well. Okay? I know I talked to you guys about the random acts of hazel, correct? In here. I use that. I've got 4,000 people that are, are members of a Facebook page I made. That's really scary. 4,100. Something I made, and I have that many people following it. It's not thanks. Shut up. It's not thanks to me. It's thanks to the people that are part of it. But I would love to see that type of following because you know what? Only positive things can happen from that. I want, and as I said, being greedy, more people I get involved that see what we're doing in this area, the more likely I am to get some people to say, hey, this is sweet what they're doing, but they constantly can't get enough stuff printed. About $5,000 for an ABS 3D printer just like this, very similar to this. Now when I say ABS, ABS is a different type of plastic. Most of the plastics you guys use are ABS plastic. It's a stronger plastic. Okay, this machine does a PLA, it's a corn-based plastic. It works pretty darn good, don't get me wrong, but I think you guys all realize the amount you've seen this printer used. Um, we're putting a lot of parts out, there's really a need for another printer. We're gonna need multiple printers. Um, right now I'm okay on plastic, but I'm gonna need probably some plastic down the road. But anyhow, like I said, we get the word out there, you get people seeing, the Rockford community sees what we do down here, I'm a heck of a lot more likely to get money to do stuff. The other thing that I can foresee, I don't know, but if I really get people interested, hey, Whitmore, love what you're doing. These kids are doing some of the phenomenal job. Springer already talked about getting on Channel 13 News. Other thing is AFTEC. Oh, here's $3,000. Why don't you divide that up for scholarships? $10,000. How big can it be? World's the limit. 